All of these lurkers are in our way. We'll have to kill them. In order to... What is it? We need to present an offering uh, of a gift. We need to kill three Fade-touched creatures, and apparently one of them is here. We've already gotten one of them. So, let's kill the lurkers then. There's a really big creature in the back. That's a fade touch lurker. That's what we wanted. They're all coming now. This one's coming right at me. Uh, how would you like this? And this. I have a feeling it didn't like that. <laughs> a little bit close. I see that. We'll have to bring him back up then. Fade touch lurker scales. Well, it was worth the effort. All the <laughs> creatures that it's they've consumed over the years. Skywatcher's cleaver, unique greatsword. Wow. Small human being. Master belt focus. Focus gain bonus. Interesting. Not too many items, but the items we are picking up are very, very. Unique. Compound crossbone uh, arms. Everite. I don't see why I need to energize that. Okay, so... More Everite over here. That would be it for there. Now we've got to go... I think the other one was deep inside their territory. Yeah, right way up north. We don't have a choice to do that, though. Uh, okay, so there's this cave here. I don't remember what that cave is about. There's a fade rift close by there. Let's go up to this camp and then start dealing with the Jaws of Hack. And I don't... We could go to the Trials. Back of the city... Uh, we need to find the bear as well. There's so many things that we need to do. Okay, I'm not sure if we can deal with this fade rift, but we'll try it. Let's head up to the next camp. Okay, so let's... Something up here, and I don't know what it is, but... We're entering the Jaws of Hacken territory. Look at this cave. This is the cave on the map. Let's see what's in here. Lots of deep mushrooms. More of them. Oh, somebody was capping here at some point. I'll claim this for the Inquisition. Mouth of Echoes. 
The savages speak to their gods in the cave passage. They call it the Mouth of Echoes. They light fires and feed them with green spruce and shout their questions into the deep. They say answers come to them on the last whispered echo. Superstition, we laughed. And now, Razakael is silent and madness descends. I can only think, what if? What if there are irregularities in the veil here? What if we could secure the Avar cave and bend it to our purposes? The slaves are gathering materials. We will build a shrine to the dragon of mystery, implant foci into the walls, cut sacred designs into the stone, the better to hear her with. We will hear her voice again, or we will die. Scribbled in blood red ink on parchment found in the mouth of the echoes. And were these ancient deventers? What's this? A memory saved, a faint inscription found in the frostback basin. If this be our last together, let it end in laughter. Atho. What's this book? At what cost? From an age journal found in frostback basin. It still tastes strange, no matter. Several water-stained pages follow before the text resumes. Have we traveled through lands more remote than these? We must have. Yet I've never felt so removed from life back home as I do now. T makes the same arguments as always, though adds a lack of demons as a point in her favor. Lack isn't absence, which I was quick to point out. She calls me pithy. There are demons here, though not as many as we faced in those early years together. The Avar have their mages too. The last that were ill-prepared for me. I wonder if that's the part that bothers her? Oh, as always, was no help at all. We pushed on. My head aches. The others are singing the song we learned at that lakeside town. I forget the name of the place. I think my eyes are about to explode. Of course, A has noticed a Meriden? I think this is something to do with the Meriden. O was one of his companions. The dwarven woman. I don't know who T is. Oh, Talana. Was that her name? Yes, his lover. Really? I think my eyes are about to explode, of course. A has noticed and tells the others he needs to read something. He's quiet. It's quiet now. The journey here took longer than expected. I must take stock of the rations after sleep. There were more than expected. Everything has more has been more than expected. A few moments later, and O would not be standing here. I was able to subdue the mage before things became worse. T said nothing about it afterwards. She knows O would have died. At what cost? T asked me that once. I said it cost nothing, but I don't know. I met a man who'd fought larger, longer than I, but his mind had faded with age, and he could not answer. The point remains that I can do more. I can be more effective. We've all seen the demons, what they did. We've seen what some would do with blood. The better question is, who pays the cost if no one takes this chance? And no one said it has to be forever, just until things are settled. Are you talking about using blood magic? I think he is. He or she. If you count eight times, will the number change? O asks. She's been watching... She's been... Yes, it is a she. She's been watching me these last few days. Whatever she says to the contrary, damn blue bottles. I did not plan this journey as well as I should. I lay trying to find consolations through the leaves. T brought me some water. She just smiled, and there was no admonishment behind it. It made me feel somewhat better, as always. A cooked our dinner while deriding my own ability to produce something edible. O attempts to tell jokes. Make her their pathetic. Why do they make me laugh anyway? Long days behind. I fear there are, are fewer ahead. Whatever costs I paid, they will be worth it. It doesn't matter. This night, save before... This night, safe beside a fire. The three of them singing that stupid song, I am content. There were four of them. T refers to Lana? The elvish mage? I don't know who wrote that, though. O was the dwarven alchemist? I don't remember what she did. And A is a Meriden. Like our party here, traveled far. But they died. Battle with the dragon. T lay down and died waiting for him to return. They must have really loved each other. Or she must have really loved him, at least. Alright, so it went right through. There should be a fade rift to the east. And the jaws of Hakan are... The, the battles often take place just west of here, so... Let's see about this Fade Rift. Oh, it also seems that everybody in the party, besides me, has gained a season. Now, what were you focus on, focusing on, Cassandra? Templar. There is no darkness. Your faith in, is your protection against the elements, and not for you alone. The entire party gains increased resistance to fire, ice, electric, electric and spirit damage. I would say that that's very helpful. I 
and Dorian. Still working on your necromancer abilities. And he tells me he's nearly he's done. Walking bomb, you curse an enemy inflicting ongoing spirit damage and then trigger the curse in a devastating explosion. Now he's making that even more powerful with virulent. If walking bomb kills your target, the effect spreads to nearby enemies, causing secondary explosions. Sounds very lethal. Not really an area I'm too interested in myself. Cole is working on subterfuge. Now, with knockout powder, you throw a handful of dose dust into an enemy's face, putting them to sleep for a dose dust for a short time. Deep sleep. Enemies affected by knockout powder sleep longer and are slow to wake up after being damaged. Oh, he's happy about that. Alright then, everybody has increased their skills. We need to get over here. Not sure if we need to go up or if it's lower along the river. A pretty river, actually. Makes me want to drink from my flask. This way. I hear the fade rift from here. I just can't see it. I don't want to walk right into it like the other one. Uh, I want to be able to see it from a distance, but the terrain is so rough. Yeah, I think we should have gone up back there. Will this take me up? Looks like it. Ah. Hear that fade rift. I don't see a demon yet. I still don't see them. I feel the effects of them. We can deal with this. These demons are not as powerful as before. Taking a potion. Second wave's coming. Sandra, where are you? Okay, this is where it gets scary. Oh, it's a demon. I thought it was Cassandra. Get up, get up. Already taken several potions each. We need to focus fire on one. This one is injured. Take this, demon. One right next to me. One last one. I hope. When we get I back, take it your father returned to Tevinta, Dorian. <laughs> Let's hope so. My father died when I was very young. I barely remember him now. 
I won't say you're lucky because that's not true. But there are days. I understand. You have my thing. Look at these items. This dagger is extremely nice. When we get back to Skyhold Keep, we're going to have to go over everyone's weapons and armor again because it's falling short of what we need it to be. This dagger is substantially better than what you're using. Uh, I'm not sure if he's skilled enough to be able to use it. Close to it, though. But our armor just doesn't... doesn't seem, it seems to be falling short of what we need. All right. Each fade rift is like a life or death situation. Let's push on. But well, we need to return to the camp. We're almost out of healing potions. We need to refresh those. And then we'll push on to the battle area. Okay. Just some ways to the west of here. And I do have gained another season. Really helped me that much, I think. Rejuvenating Barrier. When you or your allies have an active barrier, the beneficial energies invigorates them and helps them recover mana and stamina more quickly. That does sound good. Go with that. Not sure what that noise was. Whoa. You can hear the fighting down here. He's the Inquisition members. They are. Inquisition soldiers. We should. We are helping him. things going. Lieutenant Farrow, sir. We've beaten back those Hakonite bastards. My men and I will hold here. The Hakonites along the river still pose a threat. After this last battle, we need time to fortify and regroup. What's the situation along the river? Between the Hakonites and the wildlife, this isn't the easiest place to maintain a presence. The river's the best way for the Inquisition to send supplies from Skyhold. Or it would be if we could travel safely along it. The Hakonites set up camps near the banks, and they attack anyone who gets within view. <laughs> that will be all, Lieutenant. Sir. What are you carrying in this? Well, we need to c clear uh, camps of Hakonites, then. I'll take anything that you guys need. Bandolaria. Rare herb. More Vandalaria. Now, elf root, too. Quite a bit of it. Okay. Well, we have a lot of work ahead of us. Uh, there's another Fade Rift to the west. I'm hesitant to deal with it, but... We're going to have to establish these camps to kind of secure the area. Now, the Hakonite camps... There's a couple... They're to the north and northeast. We've established this camp. It's close. So, basically, across this river is the area where they are the thickest. That's where they consider. Maybe we'll run into their, their home. Maybe they have some kind of hold over there. Well, let's deal with this Fade Rift if we can. What's this? It's a giant spider. <laughs> Odd. Just crossing the river. That's more of them. It's just one of several.
Okay. More silverite. Oh, we're close to the fade rift. It's just... I think we need to go up that way. I see it. Where I marked on the map, just over the hill. Well, that's our next target then. <laughs> 